stylish, and if I get a good deal, oh, it's on. You just have to know the secret, Lord and Taylor. The best price secret, Lord, Lord and, and Taylor. Taylor. Shop friends and family and get 30% off almost everything. Check out DCRefined.com and know everything that's happening in and around town. Food, fashion, fun. DCRefined.com. Don't miss the city living section on DCRefined.com. Brought to you by My Eye Doctor. Doctors of optometry. For the first time since he left the White House, President Obama is back on the campaign trail. A Girl Scout leader banned. What police say they found on his home computer. And new parking problems. Can probably be kind of dangerous. DC's plan to improve safety and how it could lead to headaches in one of the city's hottest neighborhoods. Next. Now, ABC 7 News at 11. On your side. And we begin with a crime alert tonight in Loudoun County. Homes targeted by criminals using garage door openers. And tonight, police are telling us about a dozen homes so far have been targeted this way. Each one in Sterling. We talk with some of the victims tonight, and Kevin Lewis is live with their story. Kevin? And Allison and Jonathan, at least one house in Sterling has been hit every night this week. The victims we spoke with say the burglar was so silent, their typically loud boxer and mastiff dogs didn't even bark. We had a purse and a wallet taken. A burglar broke into this woman's car and then used a garage door opener to walk inside her sterling home. It was 415 Wednesday morning. Scary, scary because this happened through the night while we were all sleeping. We had no idea. They came in, took a couple of things and walked right out. This week alone, at least nine homes have been burglarized in similar fashion across Sterling with worry mounting. Who will be next? We have triple checks for making sure all the cars are locked every night before bed. I don't know what else we could do. This woman has since fortified her house with a surveillance camera, security system and electronic door lock in the garage. She's also keeping every outdoor light on. They really need to watch their back every minute of every day. It'll catch up. And as you can see, many of these Sterling neighborhoods don't have any street lights providing a layer of darkness. Police now urging people to lock their car doors and bring inside their garage door openers at night. We're live in Sterling. I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC 7 News. Developing tonight in Maryland, a Girl Scout leader banned from his troop and facing child pornography charges. Police are telling us that they searched Stacy Mizrahi home in Ellicott City early this morning. There's no indication that any of the images found involved the children enrolled in the Girl Scouts. Now, the Scouts released a statement saying that, in part, Mr. Mizrahi passed a background check when he registered as a troop leader. And in Montgomery County, a guidance counselor at Albert Einstein High School charged with sexual assault. Police say that Colin Black met both of his victims on the dating app Tinder. Montgomery County Public Schools says that Black is on administrative leave tonight. Well, a driver is recovering tonight after his truck went right through a fence and then smashed into a building. Look at this video. This is from the 1000 block of Quebec Terrace in Silver Spring. No word on what caused the driver to lose control. Building inspectors are back on the scene at this hour, monitoring now a possible gas leak. Erratic and a loose cannon. New revelations tonight about the man accused in the deadly shooting at Edgewood, Maryland business. Roddy Prince is in jail on more than $2 million bond tonight. Now we talked to employees of Advanced Granite where that shooting happened, who tell us that they complained privately about Prince for some time. They say that Prince was aware of that chatter. Today, the Harford County State's Attorney says that the maximum sentence of life in prison without parole isn't going to be enough. And of the three people killed in that shooting, one was from Arlington. He commuted every day. We spoke with his family today who says it is hard to forgive, but they will quote, through God's love only forgive. Soft-hearted, good-hearted, and easygoing, and friendly person. Everybody loved him. If you ask him, anyone would say that. He was a father of three and a grandfather of two. Tonight, a memorial outside Advanced Granite continues to grow. Now, we did text out information as that Edgewood shooting unfolded yesterday. You can sign up for those breaking news text alerts by just going to our website at WJLA.com.
All right, first forecast from Stormwatch 7 on this Thursday night. A bit chilly out there, but not super cold and definitely not looking at any frost advisories for tonight. 59 degrees at Reagan National Airport as we move through the day tomorrow. Grab your sunglasses as you head out the door. Almost a repeat of what we had earlier today. Highs will make it to around 75 degrees. Coming up, talking about the upcoming weekend. Howard University has a big homecoming game on Saturday. Then we have the Marine Corps Marathon on Sunday. And then a cold front that promises to bring a little bit of rain to the DMV. Timing that out for you in just a few minutes. Steve, we'll see you then. Thanks. Just in, in a 51 to 49 vote, Republicans passed a $4 trillion budget through the Senate. This is a major step forward for President Trump's promise of massive tax cuts and reforms. Well, there was a massive crowd in Richmond tonight as former President Barack Obama campaigned with gubernatorial candidate Ralph Northam. This is the first time Obama has been in the political spotlight since leaving the White House. Tim Barber takes us there. The line to get in to see one of President Barack Obama's first campaign speeches since leaving office was enormous. More than 6,200 people showed up here and the line wrapped all around the Richmond Convention Center. President Barack Obama is one of the Democratic Party's most popular politicians. Ralph Northam! And tonight, he's trying to use his likability and winning slogan to make Ralph Northam Virginia's next governor. Yes, we can. Northam was an Army doctor, a pediatric neurologist, and is now Virginia's lieutenant governor. But the Norfolk native is neck and neck with Republican Ed Gillespie. It's not a cakewalk. It's going to take all of us. Gillespie is a former advisor to President George W. Bush. And